Are these as seen on TV night hero night vision goggles any good? What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You may have seen these on TV. They say night hero on them. They are advertised as night vision goggles. See clearly at night. You know, and they advertise that whole green tint thing. And they are basically a pair of binoculars with a laser light on the front, which illuminates things out in the distance with a green laser. And so when you look through them, supposedly you have laser night vision. Now, I have been playing around with these for a little while. And I tell you what, every dude is enamored with the idea of night vision, the ability to see in the dark, you know, see everything that's around them. And these are really attractive because they're like 30 bucks. So, you know, do they work? You know, can you get real night vision for $30? Let's take a close look at these and see what you get. Right, so here are the night heroes. And as you can see, they are basically a pair of binoculars. If you were to just look at them, you would assume that they are just standard binoculars, plastic housing. We have some rubberized texture around here so these little panels are all rubber you have this larger apparatus in the middle kind of separating the two binocular portions now I want to show you first of all they come together like this and they go out like that but this is as far as they travel so they don't travel that far now I don't know if you have narrow or wide pupillary distance between your eyes but I'm actually having trouble getting these to fit me nicely. And part of the problem is you have these batteries in here and then the laser right up here. And so you have a lot of material between these. A lot of binoculars will actually close together. These binocular tubes will actually close all the way together. So you have a lot more travel in them. Now, the other thing is you have a little focus uh, dial right up here, and then you have the button to turn on the laser right there. And you can see that laser firing. I'll talk a little bit more about that. Little door here for AAA batteries. So I don't know how long these batteries are going to run the laser, but I can't imagine running a very broad beamed laser on two AAAs for a super long time. It also does not appear to me that this is waterproof at all. So I certainly wouldn't make these your outdoor tactical binoculars. Now we also have, looks like a quarter inch screw there. So you can put these on a tripod. We also have a couple little sling points on the side. So you could put a neck band on it. Everything else looks kind of like binoculars. You can see the big rings here. This um, ocular piece here seems to travel a little bit. So you can kind of dial that in, but I could not get this to do that. So I'm not sure if it's stuck or this one just doesn't do it at all. Now, the way these are supposed to work for night vision is not to really true night vision. Any real night vision device, you'll have some sort of intensifier tube, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. It's going to take that light and intensify it thousands of times and then project that onto your eyeball. And that's what you're going to see is kind of this brightened, higher exposure image. What this is doing here is basically taking a pair of binoculars and then throwing a beam of light out there. Most of the night vision binoculars will use an infrared beam of light, which is invisible to the human eye, but this is using a very visible light, a green laser. And so when you look at this and you illuminate something out there with the green light and look through the binoculars, it'll kind of look like night vision, but it's not intensifying the light at all. So there are two drawbacks to this. One, you are shooting a light out there, which is always gonna give away your position. Two, you are disturbing whatever you're looking at. And because these are laser beams, I actually am worried about these kind of burning someone's retina. You've heard of the issues of shining a laser beam at pilots and helicopter pilots, airline pilots, those types of things. It can do a lot of damage. And if you're shooting this out at animals or especially people and they look at it, I think you could do a lot of damage to their vision, which would totally suck. Now I can tell you after using these a little while here, I will try to give you some shots here, but it's gonna be really, really tough because I don't have adapters to kind of show you exactly what you're looking through here. But first of all, like I said, these aren't super adjustable. So actually putting these on and just using them as regular binoculars was actually pretty tough. And I actually didn't think they worked that well. I never got the two images to line up right. And the problem with that is even on a perfectly bright sunny day, I wasn't getting that kind of nice crystal clear picture. I could never get them to work together very well. But as a pair of binoculars, they actually kind of sucked. Now, when you turn on this laser light here and you have that shining illuminating everything, you might be able to see here that that laser light is pointing just a little left of center. The problem with this is when I was looking through these at night at things that were dark, I could see a little bit of that green light in what I was looking at. But these binocular tubes are not lined up perfectly with that laser light. The problem with this is that you're illuminating things that you can't directly see. And so you really need to have that light lined up perfectly with the ocular tubes here. Now, the other problem with this is that the further out you look, the more dispersed that laser light gets. And because it's not a real even pattern of light to begin with, it really doesn't do a very good job of illuminating. Uh, if I go up here and I try to look at the tree, 
that's kind of right in front of me. This is about this tree. You can kind of see those trunks and branches right there is probably about 10 feet away from me. With the laser light illuminating it, I can actually see it better with the naked eye than I can through the glass. So the glass one is just not very clear. And even when I try to do my best to dial in the focus, it's just not super clear. Now, if I go out to this tree out here, this tree is about 20 feet away and I'm illuminating it. And through the binoculars, you can barely see anything. It kind of all washes together. You can't probably see anything through the lens. And I have a pretty good visual of the tree with the naked eye, but through the other binocular opening, um, I can't really tell what that is. Now, if we go really far out to the trees or the grass here, the grass is now, I'm pointed on the grass about 20 feet away, 30 feet away, 50 feet away and those trees probably 60 feet away are pretty well are pretty decently illuminated it's kind of like illuminating it with a poor flashlight but through the binoculars I can't see anything and so from a night vision standpoint this is pretty poor if I start bringing it in and now I'm looking at the grass probably five feet in front of me three feet in front of me right down on my feet wonder if I can show you my shoe right there there's my tip of my shoe uh, that's what this looks like, and so I'm just not impressed. Even at $35 for this pair of binoculars with a laser light, they're just not particularly good. It's kind of funny because Jax made a toy, I think it was J-A-X-X, -X, and that was actually true night vision. It had some sort of intensifier tube and then had an LCD display that you look through through an eyepiece, and so even though it wasn't great, it was true night vision. This is not true night vision. It's just a green flashlight on binoculars, and you can do better with a flashlight and a pair of decent binoculars. So that's my impression of it. Hey, if you want to pick up real night vision, you can get like a night owl. I did a review on those. They're not that expensive. You're talking about a hundred bucks or 150 bucks. And those are true night vision with intensifier tubes, and those will actually show you what's in the dark. So that would be a much better use of your money than this. Hey, if you want to pick it up anyway, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Ron Panda. Out.